how did your peers and teachers react to your ambitions to become an astronaut? Well, you know, it's really funny. I didn't tell anybody. I was very self-conscious about it because I was, uh, I don't know, 11 or 12 years old when that dream hit me. And I was afraid people were going to laugh at me. Um, I told my parents, and my parents were very supportive. You know, they think they were supportive of all of their children and whatever their dreams were. And they just told me to go for it. And I finally started telling some of my friends, you know, when I got to undergraduate, you know, to university. And uh, they were all very excited about it. And years later, when I became an astronaut, one of my friends was like, oh, we knew you were going to make it. And it's like, okay, I'm glad you knew because I didn't. But uh, most people, when I did tell, they were very, very supportive about it. What do you think are the most important qualities for a person to become an astronaut? You know, the, the, well, the one thing you must have is, is some sort of a technical background, although we have medical doctors as well. But really, you have to be a well-rounded person, and you really need to love learning. Because I think if you, if you can say anything about being an astronaut, you know, the flying in space is fantastic. I highly recommend it. But the other thing that I really enjoyed about the job is I always had to learn something new. Because there's such a breadth of knowledge that you need in order to, you know, for example, live on the space station. I had to learn the Russian language. I had to learn all the space station systems. I had to learn the robotic systems. I had to learn the uh, spacewalk suit systems. I had to learn how to take photography. I had to learn how to draw my own blood. I had to learn how to talk to the public. I had to learn how to do plumbing and mechanical and electrical work. I mean, there was just a, you know, learn about all the science experiments. I had to learn about the Earth so I knew what I was taking pictures of so I could get the right pictures. I mean, there's just constant learning. And so you have to be someone who enjoys that and, and is, uh, it just thrives on those kinds of challenges. I think that's really the key to being a successful astronaut.